What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shot. Shot vs. A Bike Podcast, episode goddamn 90, man. Got the homie. Dan Dowd in this motherfucker, dog. How you feeling, how you, man? I'm good, man. How you, how you, how you doing, nigga? Is the question, nigga. <laughs> you had some little, little, hey. little trauma coming to this mother, dog. Yeah, man. You know you gotta fight through the rain to get to the. <laughs> man, for sure, for sure, man. Uh-huh. Hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Shit, man. You on the best podcast in the motherfucking world, man. So everything y'all smooth, dog. Mm-hmm, <laughs> but mm-hmm, shit, man. Mm-hmm. We start off every podcast, dog, with salute me while I'm here. A lot of times we wait for niggas to pass away and be like, shit, he or she was dope and shit. Instead mm-hmm. of giving them flowers while you can still smell them. Mm-hmm. But can't be nobody in your family circle. Like mom, dad, brother, sister. If you got kids, it got to be outside of that. So you got somebody you want to uh, give a shout out? Uh, that's that's wild. Yes, I definitely do. Shit, shout, shout them out, dog. Shout uh, them out. Shoot, shout out to uh, a person that's been a big part of my uh, musical journey. You mm-hmm. feel me? Especially as of late. Mm-hmm. Uh, bro, actually hearing shit, you feel me? My uh, my dog also play a part as an engineer, producer for me. For sure. I done shot with the features, uh, but shot killer if y'all don't know him. Yeah. You know, go follow him right now. All right. So I just want to salute and shoot, pay homage for the game, and then also the iron shop and iron for aspect. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for sure. Make sure we be on each other's ass. You feel oh yeah, got to. You need some niggas like that, dog. Who gonna be like? Who ain't gonna just be like, oh yeah, oh shit, dope and really ain't dope and you shit know what like, I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or niggas is gonna keep it real. You gotta have them niggas in your circle. Going, you know what I'm saying? People you can trust or what or whatnot. Yeah. Hell yeah, and a nigga gonna like Hulk Hogan like me, so yeah, he a cool dude. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Hell shit. yeah, dog. Well, yeah. shit, man. Before we get to the interview, bro, tell me how 2021 been for you, dog. Ups, downs. You encompassed mm-hmm. some shit. Still got some more shit to do. Like how what how how, how year been so far for you, bro? Um, honestly, shoot, the year been moving how how a year should move for me. So yeah. to be honest, I had my ups and downs, but that was like probably in the early part of the year. Yeah, yeah you know, yeah. we bounced back. I'm a uh, summer baby. Oh yeah, for shout sure. out to the Kansas, and I'm a, you know July second. I'm a July baby. Oh yeah, hell so yeah. I be turned. You know, yeah. by about about a halfway through the year, I didn't figure this thing out for sure. I'm hell ready yeah. to finish strong. So yeah. that's where we are right now. You know, as far as accomplishments, um, yeah. I do a uh, basketball coaching. Oh, yeah. Um, I'm in the community heavy and stuff like that as far as philanthropy. Oh yeah, we gonna we gonna touch on all that good shit. You know, hell yeah, so, hell yeah. I get my little coach on too sometimes. You feel me? <laughs> you know, I you know I was watching Big Bro. So hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. The now I got on, I got on, like, I knew about you because I I remember a uh, little bro had put me on with the music and shit, Malk and shit. Mm. Y'all both went to King and the, and all that good junk, dog. Mm-hmm. Good King days. I was in that bitch screaming at that nigga on the basketball court. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> going crazy yeah. on that nigga, dog. But yeah, so I've been hip to the music. You've been doing shit for a minute, dog. So, and it's mm-hmm. funny when you hit me up about coming on, nigga. I was already gonna hit you up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Cause I saw you, you know, saying work. shit circulating and shit, dog. So I'm like, me hit this nigga up and shit. And that's the I know. I'm like, damn, this nigga hit me up and shit. Yeah, simple. We I know. know how niggas be lying. Like, nigga, I was gonna hit you up. Like, yeah, <laughs> like me, I just know closed mouths don't get fed. So, oh, no, for sure. Most of the time, it be like, you know, let me go ahead and yeah. tap in because yeah, I know. Yeah. Like you said, you probably gonna tap in with me. For sure, for sure. Now, before we get to some shit, man, you a deep brother, nigga. Like, the way you be talking shit. Man. Nigga, deep and shit, dog. I know you got something to say about the whole what's name, dog. Kyrie Irving shit, bro. Man, salute. What's your, what's your thoughts on him and, and him, like, you know what I'm saying, taking the stands and shit? Like, only thing I'd say, I don't, want, don't compare him to, like, you know what I'm saying, on some Muhammad Ali type of shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because that's a whole different little, you know. But I do feel, dog, like, I ain't mad at him. Like, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. What you, what, what you feel about him? So. I honestly got like a, a political um, viewpoint on it yeah. that I can say, you know, that that'll be right for the camera and things like that. For but sure. then I got I'm my personal, so I'm gonna yeah, give you I'm gonna give you my my political first. Yeah. Politically, I believe, um, and it's not even that negative. Yeah. Politically, I believe, shoot, he handled that situation the best way I've ever seen yeah. somebody in that position handle it. Like, yeah. as far as withholding his response. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as long as he did. And sure. let them create whatever they had to create. Yeah, yeah, just yeah, so, let them talk whatever they say. You know, talk yeah. however they say. So, yeah. other than that, I can't speak on nothing further politically without, yeah. you know. For sure, for sure. So, personally, though, yeah. I, I'm just, like I said, I'm still supporting. Yeah. And rocking with how he came and yeah. how he coming as far as influentially. Um, because I do got the opportunity to be around uh, kids and stuff like that. I got little brothers. Yeah. And to know that they are actually, like, aware of what's going on in the world. Yeah, yeah. Based off, you know, one yeah. one person's influence. Yeah, so yeah, for sure. It's, like, it's, yeah. it's dope to know. Yeah, niggas on the heads about the money. Like, man, end of the day, like, it ain't about the money with everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And shit, that nigga got and enough the, money, and though. Then <laughs> I, was, I was about to say, like, while we on the money, you feel me? Like, I'm not, like you said, I'm a, you know, what you what you said, a, yeah. a deep brother or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but, like... 
not that money don't exist or don't matter yeah. but when you gotta understand like when you getting when you getting hundreds of millions and you didn't had it before yeah for sure like, he, yeah he, it, it's a dip, like we gotta appreciate things like yeah of course that 180 yeah it's 180 for but sure. he he got and for sure of course he gonna want the money but in the, the day he ain't gonna you know what i'm saying his family hey, gonna be straight it's it's not too many things he can't do like yeah in yeah. this in this in this thing we call Earth yeah. is not too many things yeah. he can't do. For sure, for so. sure. Hell yeah, man. What's your salute, Kyrie, dog? Like I said, I ain't tripping about it. You know what I'm saying? It's still going to be basketball to watch. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, once the season starts. Man, Stephen A. ESPN ain't even gonna talk about you know what I'm saying talk about it no more unless I'm, unless Brooklyn go out there and start getting their ass whooped. I'm I'm I'm, dis <laughs> I'm disappointed in Big Bro. Stephen A. Man, yeah, he been man. he been he been cornball every like man, for I'm, for a little minute now, dog. You know, like, I was young, man. I ain't know. I was you know what I'm saying. I used to mess with Stephen A. Heavy. Man, you know, he was on ESPN like like from the jump. You know what I'm saying, but nah. I don't know, dog. Like he ain't got my man Max fire and jump. Like yeah, <laughs> he been he been some cornball shit, nigga. He been he been he been, he been Uncle Rusty, Rusty yeah, man. For sure, I think Royce <laughs> had to compare them to uh to my man off uh off um damn what's the uh what's the Samuel Jackson when he played oh, that uh, uh off Django and shit. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> they was comparing that nigga to the, and the way he had that shit like you got going his page, bro. That shit was spot on, dog. Yeah. Like Stephen A. Like he because he if you notice. I, well, I peeped with him whenever a white athlete do something wrong. He had he got like sympathy for him. Yeah. He don't he don't go too crazy on him. He don't you know what I'm saying. But whenever a black athlete fuck up, he just be motherfucking just bashing him like hard, mm. bro. Like it, just think about everybody who in fucked up that's black. He be on their head. But whenever a white motherfucker come out like on some shit, he be oh well he deserve a second chance. Like man, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> fuck you, dog. Stephen A. Smith. Man, hey, I cut your hair. Go your hairline way in the back. Man. <laughs> I'm, I, I I I appreciate them and applaud them because now a lot of young kings and hopefully the ladies looking mm -hmm. like don't don't be like dog you feel me we don't need nothing like that yeah. in our community. That's why I respect Jay Rose on there because he you Jay Rose me? gonna say the truth. He gonna stand up for his shit and he gonna be on there and he ain't gonna try to sit here and 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 and, and just you know bow down to the masses and yeah. be like oh I'm gonna say the right thing and shit. Jay Rose gonna say what the fuck he want. Ain't from Detroit. And yeah. Ain't, and he be on ESPN forever. Forever. And yeah. he gonna he gonna still make sure he keep it clean enough. For too. sure. Ain't yeah, nothing yeah. wrong with, you know. Yeah, for being sure. Being yourself and still playing that game or yeah, whatever. Exactly, exactly. So. Hell yeah, hell yeah. But shit, man, get it on you, dog. Like, tell me about your upbringing, dog. Who was in the crib? Where you from? East, West, like, you know what I'm saying? Mom, pops, like, how was it growing up as a young a youngin? Um, honestly, uh I was blessed growing up. I was uh shoot, I got Eight little brothers. Yeah. Just found out I got a little sister. I got a certain type of perspective on my upbringing. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, uh, honestly, it wasn't a mom and pop's household. Yeah. But I did have a stepfather in my life by the time I was in, like, the fourth grade, fifth sure. grade. Sure, yeah. So, I saw a marriage and things yeah. like that in the household. It was me, uh, my brothers. I'm the oldest out of all of them. Yeah. Um, I played basketball growing up. I was mm -hmm. into music, played the drum set, stuff like that. Sure. Grew up in a church. Uh, I was really, like, not raised by my grandmother. Yeah. But because, you know, it was, not to say we was, we, well, I got to stop lying. <laughs> it, it was what it was you yeah, feel yeah, me sure, yeah, I just yeah. look at life a little different cause everybody was struggling you feel me I ain't gonna make it like it was just yeah. extra extra Hell yeah, because yeah. I definitely had like I said I was blessed yeah. because I had so many places to go yeah for sure Hell yeah. so if I didn't have it at the crib I might go over grandma Grandma's, house yeah. and shit we got wrestling we got all yeah. this shit on the Nintendo <laughs> for sure, yeah, <laughs> so but then I come to the crib we got everything we got at the crib yeah. but if I go to my pop's house yeah we we got you know yeah. he he into what he into yeah. we 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 could play with well we yeah. long story sure. short yeah, yeah. 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 It, it was, yeah, yeah it was amazing but it that's was, how because a lot of niggas be like sometimes when you when you growing up in that situation dog you don't see a struggle you just see like nigga it was it was straight like this, yeah, this was yeah. life you feel me it was life like once I got older I started seeing like damn we was in this bitch really struggling like yeah. real life but you know when you a kid you think this is this is normal everyday shit bro. And like, that's that was that was the blessing. And that's what I credit to like my family. Like I said, I had a church home, a church family. I went on like trips and all that kind of stuff. I yeah. was like a scholar and stuff growing up, you yeah. know, high test scores and all that kind of stuff. For so sure, for sure. I, I I'm like I mess with the I mess with the whole family aspect because of that. Yeah. Even if even if it ain't blood. Like yeah, I came yeah, from sure. having friends and 
I can go to bro crib, we can yeah. eat with moms, Chill, and, you yeah, know, yeah. yeah so Nick, damn, that's some good I come time, from bro. that. I'm I'm from yeah. the east side too, you know, down off uh, Mac and Cadillac. Okay, where okay, I grew okay. up. Mm -hmm. So that's where my grandma from. Then we moved to the west side. Where I moved on the west side, I thought my mom moved us to the suburbs for a minute. <laughs> it was like, but but no, it was all tired in the south field. Hell yeah, hell yeah, like night and day, dog. Yeah, because yeah. that's like our area, dog. We well, we shit, I can't say where we grew up at. We lived all over the place on the east side, but for yeah. the most part, like. Cadillac Warren area Cooper and all oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah we so. was over there for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But yeah, so shit. You say um, you in the crib? You you at mom's house? You at dad's house? Grandma's house? Like a lot of times we get our musical influences from them. We mm -hmm. like people that they like. You know what I'm saying? Before we get our own taste. So who are some people you was rocking with just based off your parents? Um, so my pops was like heavy Jay Z, like yeah. heavy hip hop, but like. Jay Z and then I ain't go lie, Scarface, Ghetto Boys, oh yeah, for stuff sure. like that, for like sure, heavy. Sure. Yeah, and then it was like you know, on me video, scared the hell out of man. Even though I was a scholar, <laughs> I played some crazy music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it was like, it was it was a reflection of, uh, like I had to earn to listen to that basically. Like mm -hmm. you feel me? I still had to make sure I wasn't walking around cussing or talking crazy. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not being influenced too much by it. Yeah, for sure. But on the other side, like my mom, she heavy into. The, the um you know Keisha Cole had that one wave so <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, sure. that 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 soulful R and B wake up clean up you Nigga, know that's when you gonna hear good music yeah, clean up making you know breakfast saying? and shit dog but now I'm it, I'm, I'm I'm leaning more towards how my granddaddy used to have it like the the side of my grandma house like in the parking lot yeah. you feel me with them 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 Kim playing hell yeah you know hell yeah got that chemistry yeah. y'all that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's that, what's up ain't he from Detroit shout out. Hell yeah, I dog. think he like grew up with him or something. You know how it be. Yeah, hell yeah. So, <laughs> east side. Yeah, <laughs> they for know sure. everybody. Now once you once you got a little older, bro, and you got your own taste, like who was niggas you was rocking with? Like off of off of yo shit, off yo who you was who you was fucking with. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I got into uh like Big Herc and Rock Bottom Heavy. Like. Tall nigga, that's the shit, for <laughs> like, sure. Hell like, yeah. That was like middle school heavy. And then you know, Wayne came. Yeah. And when Wayne came, it was just Yeah, nigga. <laughs> Goddamn classic, nigga. Yeah, like, just Wayne came. On, man, I was fucking Wayne, nigga, like, yeah, from the jump. Like, Hot Boys, that nigga was 14. Like, dog, this, this the coldest See, nigga. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be, most people don't be. I I wasn't a, a true Wayne fan. Yeah. Until, like. Cart one, mistapes. Till draw three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw three. Yeah, like, dog. Till draw three. Yeah, I so, I went back and, you know, soaked you up all the game, yeah, but yeah, I, yeah, I definitely sure. wasn't, like. Now, that's how I was with Ho, bro. So. I ain't become a whole fan really though until um it's a hard night life and stuff like that. Like I ain't know nothing about Reasonable Doubt Volume One. The streets mm. is watching, like mm. I ain't know no, none of that shit. Yeah, so no, I had to go see. back. Uh -uh. I had to go back. Like nigga, my first my first Jay Z C D nigga that I listen to nigga the whole thing. That's still my favorite Jay Z C D is a uh, Blueprint. Okay. The first yeah, we okay. argue about that shit all the time. Like Blueprint, my favorite, he say Reasonable Doubt. Reasonable Doubt is It's yeah. cold. It's, it's cold. It's it's it's, it's flawless. Damn yeah, it. Now you know me. You know you know little bro Mel. Mm -hmm. We argue all the time about nigga who the best between him and Nas. Nigga, I, I say Nas. He say Ho. Mm. Only thing that that Ho got over Nas dog is production. And I feel this like let them he got crazy. So, Flow. So nigga Nas listen, is is a way better rapper. But than listen, Jay -Z, dog. but listen, but listen, but listen, but listen. <laughs> These niggas right, they agree with my brother. Shit. Listen, I, <laughs> I, I I I feel you on the Nas like because I call myself like a you know. A, a witty rapper, you know, my bars, my flow. But as development go and yeah. as the, the audience respond, yeah. you know, when you really care about your craft and you care about the craft and appreciate the art at a certain level, mm -hmm. you understand that production is really the only thing that does matter. Yeah, for sure. Because that's for what sure. holds your music more timeless and make it more accessible to more yeah. listeners yeah. and make it easier to, you know, be received. Yeah, that's true, so that's true. Man. I you feel like, no nah, he could have came <laughs> more, he could have came more, you know, more yeah. appeal to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, maybe I'm just, hey, I'm just it's, biased, dog. And <laughs> it's like, and it's like, maybe not even came more appeal to that. Like, that had to exist for me to even know yeah. I could have this kind of opinion. For like, sure, for sure. That's like, like when me and this nigga argue about what's name, about Big and Pac and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you can't really compare it to because they, they mm -hmm. kind of like two totally different rappers. Now, do you feel like, I, I want to ask y'all this, do y'all feel like Big and Pac are a bigger phenomenon than Nas and Jay? Uh, I think they got more influence. I'm more influences, but as far as like, I think Nas and Jay had like more time. To, you know what I'm saying? More time. But I believe mm. if like Big and Pop would have more time on the Earth, dog, it wouldn't be nobody bigger than them two. You know what I'm saying? That's 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 definitely that's definitely understood. Like, cause you gotta think about it, nigga. Pop was that's definitely Pop understood. Pop died. They like, was like 
Pop died at 25. Yeah. The shit that he knew and was talking about rapping about, dog, knew. You gotta be in your thirties and forties to even experience that type of shit. He talking about that junk at 19, 20, 21. Like he on his Black Panther shit early. Like he know about what's going on early. So his influence mm. is, is is deep and heavy. But he been gone so long. Of course, like somebody like Nas and Jay Z gonna have a bigger impact on somebody. True. You know what I'm saying? True. But if they would been or around longer. It just longer, seemed like it was a bigger. Like you gotta think about big, big fucking <laughs> probably one of the best rappers ever off of one album. <laughs> and that, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's like one album nigga is killing niggas whole catalog, bro. <laughs> and, and then his second album, nigga, like, yeah. Every time I try to bring that little angle, what we be like my fa- one of my favorite <laughs> one of my favorite songs ever, dog is Biggie uh, "Sky's the Limit." Nigga, that that shit like one of my favorite songs. It's ever. just a flawless song. Yeah, like it but, give uh, it give. I ain't gonna lie, that's why I mess with Rick Ross so much. Like, oh, nigga, Rick Ross. It now you talking about production and like flawless. <laughs> yeah, man, that just that nigga, music. If though. I'm a rapper, dog, I'm getting Rick Ross to like, air, like to to um to executive produce every album I put out. Just True. because his production, I think Nas should have been fucking with whoever was fucking with his beats and shit. Like Nas should have been with him. Early. That's all I'm saying, and that's why Nas you got had a, 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 a been been popping off because he fuck with Hit Boy. Hit Boy then mm-hmm. improved this sound mm-hmm. tremendously, nigga. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but yeah, the whole mm-hmm. the whole Big and Pac and, and Jay and Nas like I think he just took because Nas is just a branch off of Tupac. He 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 got that same type of flow, and then Jay everybody always say he kind of like kind of like mimic Big flow a little bit. You know what I'm saying? True. And it just they just came from them and just took that bitch to a whole another level. You know what I'm saying? I believe Pac was a lot better at appealing to the masses. Like Pac, one of the dopest at appealing to the masses, but being able to have that depth yeah. somehow. He can talk about whatever. Like, <laughs> he was like, you can tell anyone's a Gemini for sure. Like, come whatever you talk about. Whatever. One man fuck the hoes, then one man nigga stand up black queens, and <laughs> <laughs> like hit them up, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you don't know what you gonna get, nigga. Hey. You don't know what you gonna get from Pac, dog. For real, for real, dog. But shit, man. Um, with you as a kid, you growing up, you say. Was hooping your first love or, or music? Um, honestly, hooping like I don't even consider that mug a love. That's why I turned it into a job. Like yeah. I feel like that was one of those things, like a skill trade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I was yeah. tall. Well, yeah. I wasn't tall yet, but my yeah. pops hooped, my granddaddy hooped, everybody hooped. Yeah. And the ball got put in your hands. I feel like that was just one of those. You gonna go to school with it? You gonna yeah. like basically you, sure. you gonna like, do something you gonna with some, it? Nigga, hooping yeah. that shit. I loved it, but it was. Yeah. Like, I, I ended up playing baseball. In. Oh, for Loving real? that shit way more. For real. And only played that like two, three years. Man, baseball, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, dog. Baseball was one of the scariest things to me, nigga. I seen somebody. <laughs> I tell you why, dog. I, I remember I was at Bustle, dog, trying out for a baseball team or whatever. I don't know if you had to try out or you just be on that bitch. And I seen a nigga pitch the ball. Nigga hit that bitch, came right back at his face. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, right, shit, fuck this. Yeah, I had. That, <laughs> that happened to me and I caught the ball. Man. But I, that was not me that caught the ball. Like, I ain't gonna act like I just, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know, no. That was scary. <laughs> it was, it was, it was, Dog, I'm like, nigga, after scary. that, two things I wanted to do because I, I was always hooping. I was always hooping, nigga, all my life, nigga. That's my shit. But I tried niggas like, you fast, go play football. Nigga, I play for Eastside Coast, nigga. Mm-hmm. So when we put those passes on, I got hit. Nigga, I, I gave my motherfucking uniform right back, nigga. Like, See, I knew, like, I knew you was a like, real one. Like, fuck that, Listen, dog. I went, I'm, I went to Inkster at a critical period. Like, yeah. when, uh, like, Devin Gardner was just okay, leaving okay, there. Yeah. And this, this, and that. So, I'm in the weight room. This is my first year playing baseball. They mm. see my arm. You know, I'm... Okay, hey, come come, come to our workouts tomorrow. Yeah. Man, I went to a football workout. They went from the weight room Duh. to a 707 to a pack to... I, listen, I ain't go back. <laughs> Man, fuck <laughs> the head. Because, like, you got to have a I different type back. of motherfucking mindset, bro, to, go like, back. go through that shit. Football niggas, that shit tough, bro. Practices. And then, like I said, once you put those pads on, nigga, you get hit by a nigga, nigga, like, dog. Yeah. That shit gonna it's gonna test your motherfucking manhood, like nigga. Yeah, no, no and, and look, and look, and and that was the thing, like, I wasn't gonna let it test my like, like no, yeah. this ain't what I'm about to hold me yeah. being a man on, man. me being uncontrollably physical, yeah. like me, I mean unreasonably physical, yeah, yeah, for like sure. they ain't give, a, they ain't care about each other out there. Duh, hell no, <laughs> like nigga, you, t- you, you know, think about them drill. What was that one shit, dog? I know you know about that shit. That shit when you um, damn, when, the ring. when you lay down. Um, yeah. And he, now look, I like not, the alley. alley. I yeah, like the alley. That's what it was called. Something else and shit. Cause that's just one one head on. Yeah. You, you 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 feel me? It's simple. I see what's coming. Nigga. Now you talking about <laughs> six seven. Yeah, nigga block. Yeah, yeah. 
helmet Blind slap. Side, nigga, yeah, no, you no. do something good, nigga. Slap your helmet. Like I oh, ain't yeah. like that. Like, yeah, I ain't even like that. Nigga, I'm, I tell you, nigga, I gave that uniform back so quick. Went to best on the next day, dog. <laughs> then my hoop dreams. You know, at the wild, start seeing a little bro going crazy. Like this nigga better than me. Like, <laughs> man, I'm about to coach this nigga, dog. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, I ain't yeah. about to. Oh, this nigga got me, dog. You see what I'm saying? It's like you understand, understand the skill yeah. trade in it. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, about to, I'm about to. Okay, Hell yeah, I know what this is. Yeah. I know why I got yeah, cold. Yeah, that nigga, that nigga, exactly right there. Man, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Dog, we've been talking about this shit for the last couple episodes, dog. What's some shit that you wanted to do but never pursued, dog? Like, I just realized yeah. I told him another thing. There's two things I wanted to do, dog. What three? Play a piano. Never did that shit. Tap dance. Mm. And motherfucker be a karate. I mean, mm. like, have a black belt in karate, though. Now look. <laughs> like, those two things I never. Now look, okay. Now just to keep it G, I think everybody had the the Bruce Lee Duh. or the It Man. For yeah. sure. For sure. <laughs> I had it. I had it. But mine wasn't even a black belt. I just wanted to just get in some random bra mm -hmm. and had an opportunity <laughs> to see if, like, I don't even know. Yeah, like, kick a nigga. Dude, but yeah, like, not dog. in the city, bro. Not, not know. Like, I know how my people come. Yeah. I need to be in a random Times Square or something. Yeah. A cab come past. I open the cab door, hit a nigga. You nigga, know what I'm saying? Whole scene, <laughs> <though. other> <laughs> So I always wanted to be like in like a random like you know like a Jason Stratum like yeah. you know uh, I don't know like a Taken type scene. <laughs> I just come through say today. So I wanted to pursue uh, what would they even call that? Um, <laughs> saving the day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I uh, saved the ass like, there, yeah, dog. Right, yeah, uh, but I swear, dog, that shit. That's it. The kid, you got imagination, dog. You know, you just thinking some shit, bro. You gonna do some shit. Yeah, I see <laughs> niggas tap dancing like this shit cold, bro. My dad watching a little tap like, movie. Tap Tap man, what man? Like that shit cold. I, well, I want to yeah. <laughs> tap dancing. I I wish I had rhythm to dance growing up, basically. Man, and for sure. I grew up to the crank that. Yeah. The, the I couldn't duggy. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, got I couldn't Duh. even duggy. Duh. <laughs> niggas hitting that shit hard. That's what motherfucker is. Soulja Boy probably was the yeah. like. Of course, it was dancing and like music at the same time, but he was the one who like brought that shit back. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real. That whole little YouTube era, that motherfucking dancing shit, like just loosening people up again. Yeah, funny like, really. Hell, dog. And I was like, damn, I ain't even ready. <laughs> <laughs> hell yeah, like, hell yeah, man. All right, give me a, a CD or a song, bro. Every time you hear that shit, it just take you back to a to a time in your life, nigga. Like clear as day. Uh. Or a moment, time, whatever. Like oh, uh, a year. Nah. Man, that uh, that future know the real meaning. Okay, that shit uh, that shit always take me back to. I ain't gonna lie, I was I was a young man making certain decisions that had led me in the. Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm gonna kick it to your IG. I ain't gonna make it. Yeah, I was fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was I was out here, you know, living yeah. life, yeah, making certain sure. decisions, and ending me up in a situation where I was homeless and yeah. sleeping in the whip and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that song just like, man, I know the real meaning. Then he was, it was like after Esco, how I don't, it was just yeah, yeah, it was it had that it had that that on there. That's the shit for you, yeah. And every time I, yeah, now I know. Whenever I'm feeling a slump, anything, I go bang that. Hell yeah. I hell bounce yeah. right back. Nigga, whenever I'm feeling a slump, bro, it ain't, it ain't a CD or something for me. It's a movie, nigga. That pursuit of happiness. Damn. I'll be looking yeah. like, nigga, like when that nigga, <laughs> the shit he went through, bro, I'll be yeah. like, fuck it. I'm good. I'm now, good. I swear to God, every time I watch that shit, dog, like, and that's the one part, nigga, it'd be like, damn, that shit real. When he was in that bathroom, bro, nigga was trying, him and his son was sleeping in that motherfucker. I'm like, nigga. Hey, my shit, I'm straight. I got a crib to go to. Like, <laughs> nigga, that's the movie right there. That nigga went to a job interview with no pants on, nigga. Like, no, no shirt and shit like that. Cause he painting this shit, dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> like he was, that's a, he was he was yeah. Yeah, he was on his shit, bro. But like, on his shit though, cause shit. he stayed focused. Yeah, no excuses, nigga. When I yeah. watch that movie, I'm like, all right, bad. I gotta get my shit. I'm good. Had to watch this shit, nigga. Might yeah. drop a third tear and shit, dog. But you now know you what I'm saying? You know, you know. <laughs> it's all good. It's I all ain't good. Lie. That's how that's how Wolf of Wall Street make me feel though too. Yeah. Like on some on some shit. Yeah, for but sure. But I don't I don't just go like just what you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't go to watch. <laughs> Last time I saw it though, it was at a pivotal time in my life. Yeah. And I went and um put some put some great ideas in the file cabinet. For sure. Hell yeah. So. <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah, dog. Now shit with the music, bro, like you say you was you know doing the hoop and drum growing up and the you know saying playing the drums and stuff like but when it, when it rap come a, like a real thing for you, like nigga, it's something I want to you know saying pursue and do. Um, so to be honest, like pursue and do, yeah. probably about four or five years ago. Yeah. But when I was twelve, 
13, I had like a little rap group at my For middle sure. school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We wasn't, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily a rap group. We only had like music recorded on our phone. Hell yeah, but hell yeah, classic. I've been like rapping and entertaining people through the through the like wordplay and stuff like that since I was probably like 12, 13. Mm -hmm. and then um, I just, not just left it alone. I just used to just write all the yeah, time. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, yeah. I used to just write raps, write raps, write raps. Yeah. But then I got to uh, college and um, did this little, this little freestyle or whatever. Mm -hmm. And people just it was like right at the little Instagram era. And yeah. People ate it up. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, at sure. that at that point, that was like T Grizzly was uh, he had just popped. He had did like the what, it was one of them challenges or something like that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, after that shoot, I just understood that I could you know I could inspire people, and yeah. I had a lot of a lot of stuff I wanted to influence, and not necessarily change, but. I knew that through influence you could get a lot done. Hell so, yeah, for sure. For and sure. it was like shit. People like this shit, and I like doing it. Yeah, it's like it's a therapeutic. Yeah, Hell yeah, no, it is for sure. That's a fact. That's a fact, dog. You going through some shit? It's two things, nigga. That get my mind clear, nigga. That's that's music and it's hooping. Simple. Like, nigga, could you ain't think about shit else when you doing those two yeah. things, bro? Like, hey, hooping, you ain't think about what the fuck going on in life, nigga. Like, mm -hmm. you just trying to bust the nigga ass and trying not to get your ass bust. You yeah, know what and, I'm, and I also learned like. Like that little feeling that that is that that level of tunnel vision or yeah. focus that it take you to, yeah. it's other people that got that in their life in other ways. Yeah, it's just sure. in our yeah. community; those are those are two things. You feel me? Those yeah. are outlets most Facts. of the time. Hell but yeah. I also got put on to uh, garden. Yeah. Like oh like, no, nigga, that's some plants, shit. Talk about that. Plants yeah. is like one of them things because they yeah. grow, they move. Like you get you a little pot of like little str like anything you yeah. can get a anything and that shit gone. Like so for people that. No, for can't rap. Fast. <laughs> yeah. hey. No, cause dog, my granddad dog, he's down west side of Sherwood Forest, dog. Oh yeah. And dog, that's the first garden I see in my life, bro. And he be out there like tomatoes. And he just, cabbage, he just in his dog. fucking element. Yeah, green he peppers, like you know what I'm saying. And you be out there, and, and you can eat it, nigga. I remember he be out there, dog, with the music, collard greens. Then that's the first time I think I had my had collard greens. He was growing mm. that shit. See, nigga, he be out there, and he had the little chair and shit, had the little you know music playing. He just be mm. out there for like and two, three seasonal. hours, dog. That's something he can do for. But like it's gonna Duh. keep giving. He gonna learn new little sauce with yeah, it. Yeah, gonna, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, yeah. that's one of them. He be out there for two, three hours. I'm like, damn, what we out there just doing? He just chilling, dog. Like just, just, just kicking yeah, it, just listening kicking to some music it. and shit, dog. Tending to the land for sure, for know? sure, dog. And then it made me think about that. Uh, I don't know if you was hip to uh, San Francisco, dog. A little bit, when a they little bit. They had the garden, and then they found the, the wild parsley, but it was weed. <laughs> Oh, that was red. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Dog, but they had the finest of the fight. <laughs> but yeah, but shit, what made you want to like tap into that shit? Like, was somebody around you who was, like put you on, or like um, just one day you just like? I ain't going was to really like. I put myself onto music as far as like was on my phone in my car. I oh, know I'm talking about the making, bird and shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm about to say because it was like because niggas don't music. be talking about that shit, especially young. Like we are, you always know like oh the, yeah, the I put my so ironically I put myself on the garden and through music because I was all talking all political and <laughs> you know we I'm a vegan and yeah. all this kind of stuff. So mm -hmm. like I ran into uh well. My sister, she like into plants, like for real. For, for sure, real. Yeah, yeah, Not yeah. my blood sister. It's like you know, yeah, like sis. Super tight with, but yeah. uh, she um into plants for real. Her grandma got like plants all everywhere, and yeah, they, yeah. they like you know all through the house. But they water them, and they it was just a certain like yeah. attention that I seen them paying to them. Yeah. That was through the years of just kicking yeah. it. Like, yeah. Yeah. Hold on. And then um the actual gardening, my uh my one home girl. Uh, Detroit Wellness is her Instagram. She okay. do like a lot in the community and stuff like that. Yeah. But um, she was working for a farm. Yeah. And then like she got like a peach tree in her backyard. And, yeah. And I did. Then I got to growing with uh some of my some of my people. For sure. And that was just like the process is yeah. just amazing. You yeah. see a plant, you plant a seed and see it grow. Yeah, for and sure. And then you can like eat from the fruits of it. Like Hell that yeah. shit is crazy to be. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's crazy because you say that shit, nigga, my mom used to, you know me, my mom used to have plants all over the crib, dog. And she had like special water for it and shit like that, Yeah, dog. my grandma had that and then like if you leave a water bottle, she gonna pour it in that plant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> dog, we had plants all over the motherfucking crib, bro. Like for real, for real, dog. Yeah, that shit mm. crazy. Yeah, because you really don't hear young niggas talking about some shit like that. Like we just talking about that one show I was watching, Um, damn, what's my man's name? Uh, Killer Mike. When mm. you're talking about like growing your own shit yeah. and like nigga, like if, if things get bad, like niggas gotta know how to grow their own food, be able to, you know what I'm saying, feed their families yeah, and, and shit. And and to get even deeper into it, like walking in just deeper into what I call family and a blessing. 
Mm. Like you never know who you connected to. Like I got connected to some of my cousins mm. uh, earlier this year, yeah. and they um they actually got like they they garden garden yeah, like for sure. you feel me and yeah. they that's like in my family I guess so that yeah. was dope to know like they grow yeah. their own food they self sustaining yeah. Yeah, basically yeah. on that kind of you know yeah. I'm gonna get there but I ain't quite yeah, yeah, yeah. I still yeah. shop at the store oh yeah man. for sure <laughs> hell yeah you know? hell yeah dog now your name bro was that your original name or you had something different before you um, ended up with Dan Dollar um. Honestly, like that was my well, I got a nickname, yeah. but like as far as rapping, yeah. I came with Dan Daughter, like just off the original yeah. from my, my, my name, Daniel. Mm. Um, and honestly, I've never been called Dan in my life, like, <laughs> like nobody ever like shortened Daniel and called me Dan until yeah. I started being called Dan Daughter, yeah, yeah, yeah. which is like dope, I feel like. Because yeah. <laughs> I was yeah, always, I, was like, I don't know, no black dude named Dan, like who like, they called Dan, like so it'd it, it be, it be kind of weird, like when people call me that, <laughs> like, but shoot, it's that's my name. I'm yeah. like, okay, cool. And the daughter come from uh my grandfather, his uh we used to call him Dede. Okay. And uh it was spelled D A D A. But um I just played the you know, put a play on for sure. on the Don daughter, you for know, sure. feel like I'm a I'm I don't be, you know, just just high up high echelon, high quality yeah. you know, bossing. For sure, you know. for sure. Now a lot of, a lot of times though, like you like you said, most of your raps is on the phone. Mm -hmm. Like it's a whole different vibe from rapping in your bedroom, dog, than going to the studio. Like, what was that first studio session like? I remember first time I go in the studio, dog, my nigga Weezy, uh, brother mm -hmm. basement, shit was ass. Yeah. Like it sounded bad. Like nigga, I'm trying yeah. to rap on beat. It was just, a, it was just a whole different feel than being so. in your room and shit. Like, <laughs> what was your first studio session like, dog? Man, so, like I was, I was spoiled, man. Like yeah. I was a young college kid, wanted to rap. My dog, uh, Eric. Um, he wanted. He was uh, into communications and broadcasting at the mm. school. So, man, we had access to the state of the art yeah, fucking yeah. studio. Oh, so the legit man, boy. hard all type <laughs> of stuff. But we didn't know what we was doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it was, it was sounding good enough. Like my first couple little songs, them boys was decent. Yeah. And they had like the little campus little vibes. And then I dropped the freestyle. I came home. Mm. One of my uh, fraternity brothers. Shout out to Iota Phi Theta. Um, fraternity incorporated shout out to uh my boy doe he came and got me like from school one day yeah. and took me to the studio to record a freestyle he saw on the internet yeah. and his man's little setup was decent he, yeah. you know what i'm saying so by then i, I was taking music serious sure. by having certain accesses but when i really got into doing music like my drop my first mixtape and all of that mixed it all and all of that by mm -hmm. myself and stuff like that mm -hmm. i was doing that off garage band and yeah. honestly that shit was ass <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure, yeah. i did did almost ten thousand streams and shit yeah but, but yeah, yeah looking back on you like damn no nah, you shouldn't have ever did that <laughs> <laughs> but now, that's how i be though saying? like like whatever you do you go back look at your earlier shit like like even with this podcast, I look at the episode one like damn this shit it, it was straight yeah. but yeah nigga you could tell when niggas start getting comfortable you feel me like it, True story. Once you get comfortable, nigga, it don't even look like the shit rehearsed. Like you just went and, you like just, I said, when we record, it sound like it's written. It sound like you you mm -hmm. you reading off something. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And even 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 when you even when you do everything right on that part, like as far as executing as an artist, we could just go back to the Jay Z thing. Like yeah. production and quality is where you know is is where it's at. So yeah, yeah. Well, as you grow through wherever whatever craft you in, like yeah. you said, you just know not how to get more comfortable. For sure, for Some sure, comfort yeah. is equipment. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. It ain't even. Facts. Fast, fast. Now you got a unique sound, bro. Like a lot of times, a nigga from the city, be like, oh, here go another. You know, yeah. same shit, same flow, <laughs> yeah, same they, cadence, they go. same bounce. Like you know, what I'm saying, like, what, did you do that, like, like, on, like, purposely, like, all right, I ain't about to sound like nobody else. I'm gonna have my own lane, or like, it just came natural. Um, to be honest, like, it's kind of, kind of both. It came natural because I didn't really used to listen to like Detroit music. Like to be honest, I didn't really. Uh, start listening to Detroit music until like late, late Team Eastside era. Yeah. So I wasn't, you know, heavy into like the Doughboys. I didn't know too much about a lot of Detroit music. Mm -hmm. um, not that I didn't know about it. It didn't. It didn't appeal to my ear as yeah, much. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type, type, type of time. Yeah. So by the time it did. I had already had my own flow and stuff like that. I'm 17, you know, 16, 17. I'm mm -hmm. already rapping in the lunchroom mm -hmm. class, you know. Yeah. So I already was into my own type of flow. For sure, for so sure. So by then it was just like, uh, I'm, I'm in college and then I think, uh, like, oh, my mama came out. Long story short, yeah. the city started, uh, yeah, we yeah, started, yeah. we started, we started. 
push it through certain doors, start buzzing a certain certain way. For sure. And I always could appreciate that. You feel me? It ain't no knock to the sound. It's like shit. I see what that is. Mm -hmm. I know by the time if I do have a chance, if I work on how I'm coming, yeah, I'm gonna be appreciated because. My city heart is for fuck, sure. You hell feel yeah, me? Hell yeah. Once you get love I don't gotta city, get in that. Yeah, yeah, I don't gotta come like how they come. Yeah, for sure. So. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause like dog, and so, sometimes like, I be like, nigga, I be knowing what's up. Like, God damn. Like, yeah. <laughs> like <laughs> all right, God. <yeah. laughs> like it's like dog, yeah. but in, of course you're gonna have influences from other people, especially hell if you yeah. listen to a certain type of rapper or, or, or genre or whatever, you're gonna get influences from, you know what I'm saying, from certain people. But it's it's a point that it's like niggas just be copying and pasting, like, all right, bet yeah. that worked for him. And, Let me go ahead and do the same shit. And, and j I ain't gonna lie, that's true. But to just be honest too, like just from like leaving out of the city and coming back and doing traveling things like that, mm. working in different areas as far as being able to go to Flint. And I was doing some like when I was just working, doing security or doing whatever I was doing, just being yeah. in different spaces, Grand Rapids. That 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 rapping and that caters that come from Detroit and yeah. Michigan, mm. it's something that's almost natural. It's yeah. not it, no, yeah, like yeah, how yeah. it how it seemed like yeah. they just copying <laughs> yeah, off each yeah, other. Yeah. It's, it's like, actually that's just how I mean, we come. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. gotta appreciate like that's yeah, just yeah. how we. That's our sound. That's our shit. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, real. Quick. You say you doing security and shit, dog. Listen, man. Yo, give me a fight. Oh, cause I did, <laughs> cause I did look, security, dog. Cause listen, man. <laughs> like, listen. Man. I know you got a funny security story, dog. <laughs> man, I used to have to sit the kids down in the hallway, try to help them not get suspended, all kind of. Oh, so you were doing security in school? Man, I worked. Oh, nigga, that's the worst. I done did schools, uh, nursing homes, <laughs> special events, king homes at the fireworks. <laughs> nigga, I didn't. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel nigga. me? So, no, like, the the, I mean, little me be whole shit down. <laughs> yeah, the worst security job, the worst security moment I had in my life, bro. Like, I, I, I moved to Texas, dog. They was like they they start you off like eighteen an hour. I'm like damn, okay. security, all right, bet. Okay. So nigga, I'm doing security in the hospital. So at my hospital, I'm I'm at we got a uh, psych ward upstairs. Okay. So niggas gotta go through <laughs> the emergency and be you know what I'm saying seen and treated before they go and get admitted. So dog, this one dude, dog, nigga, this the country, bro. This nigga probably about six four. About two forty, yeah. Zion Williams looking yeah, at me, dog. Man. So he and that motherfucker, dog, like he had a bitch, like giving them a hard time, dog. I'm telling my uh, my girl at the time, like, hey, listen, this nigga jump stupid, I'm out. Like the fuck this job. He had catheter, bro, and his, you know, saying catheter and you know, saying and his little, and stuff, whatever. So nigga got mad, just yanked that bitch out. I'm like, nigga, oh, what the fuck I supposed to do with this nigga, dog? Yeah. And he, he, he neck his hell like, I'll oh, fuck anybody over coming here. Okay. And I'm like, See, bro. No, but look, but look, not me. I probably would have took that as that one moment I was telling y'all about that I've been waiting on in my life to take a nigga down, say the day. I probably would have tried to fight this big guy. Dog. That's a wild shit. Dog. But, nigga, but my, my mind thinking, if he did that shit, bro, ain't nothing I could do to hurt that man, dog. What you, <laughs> he yanked that bitch out of his shit. I'm like, dog. Man, you read the Bible, man. Listen, man. I would've, I, I would've waited on my session, bro. But like, I think I'm just gonna get strong as fuck at the moment I need to, and I'm gonna take some shit out. I'm dead. Yeah. Yeah, dog. But, but and no, then, I don't know, dog. Probably. I don't yeah, know. yeah. And then yeah. I remember, nigga, one nigga, same nigga. We had to bait that nigga into coming down, dog, with orange juices, bro. And that, at this time, we had police officer working there. This nigga name was Lil Ray Ray, bro. And then it was like, dog, listen, just get the orange juice. As soon as he put his arm out to give it to you, I'm like, him with the handcuffs and put on the on the bed. Cause he kept getting up, kept threatening people. So I'm like, here you go, dog. Hey, y'all, man, y'all, man, y'all misleading the young man. Hey, he, he, he did that bitch and again. Shut that. And they got, I'm gonna fuck you, you little white motherfucker. <laughs> like, he was that bitch going crazy. I'm like, dog, I gotta get a new job, nigga. <laughs> Yo, look, that's all. I, listen, that's, and, and look, most of the hardest shit I wrote on my way coming up, like, that, nigga, that most people, man, hell nigga, yeah. Nigga, I already know. I really Doing them it. fucking triple shifts because the nigga they called off. Man, <laughs> and, 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 you, and shit you can do because you can't leave. You, you act that bitch. You nigga, dog. dog. Dog, yeah. nigga, and like I said, I, I I never wanted to do a school security because nigga, everybody in the school probably bigger than me, so <laughs> I I want to be like dog, to the dog from uh, Cass Tech, nigga, the quarterback will slam that nigga. Hey man, <laughs> listen, shout out, shout out to the top flight security of the world, man, because I am not one of them. <laughs> I yes, walk dog. in there and I give them the sauce, like, hey, little bro, I listen, hey. Yeah, you hey, chill out. Yeah, for sure. For you sure. not on none of that. We ain't got to be on none of that. Yeah, it's a man. whole nother route. Like it's a whole nother route. Hell yeah, and dog. most of them don't know fun, that. Fun as hell, yeah. nigga. Now, uh, yeah. damn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's what that shit for you, dog. Yeah. Now, twenty twenty, dog. You mm -hmm. released the project, dog. Just the mm -hmm. nigga. Uh, first, talk about the title, dog, and like, what was the response to it, like overall? 
See, uh, that boy was. Now I know it ain't your first project, but that's, no. that's your latest whole project. Yeah, it was right? just. Yep, that was just. That was like my latest like whole piece. You mm-hmm. feel me? Um, the response to it was like I got a I got a heavy response out of the uh, my inner core. Okay. But it didn't necessarily um like reach too far out of that. Yeah. But it was able to give me like good detail type of uh type of type of responses back. Sure, like basically sure. people fuck with what they fuck with yeah. heavy. Yeah, 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 and boom, yeah. out of that, I, that's what I've been taking and running with oh, yeah, on yeah, this yeah, run yeah. that I'm on now. Yeah, yeah, so as far you. as coming from that project though, like that was that was basically a, the reflection of everything that that I'm honestly walking through now. But okay. it molded it was a mold of all of the the like I was saying earlier as yeah. a young man I had made the one decision. <laughs> yeah, 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 <laughs> so for sure. That's why it was just the mm-hmm. it was just the project, you feel me? For sure, for sure. Now just the music basically. You, it's ten tracks on there though. I always do like top threes, top fives of niggas projects, bro. Mm-hmm. So if you had to give me your top three off of that project and I'll give you mine. Mine is uh, uh re- rebate, uh ties and rapping bricks. Damn, that's crazy. Okay. See, I take I take rebate for sure. Yeah. Ties, that's that's my favorite song, bro. Yeah. I I, I ain't even um I did punch that or nothing. That was all one vocal, one just For me sure. on that mug tripping. Hell yeah. And then, um, I got to take that verse from Seamless. Mm-hmm. You know the um, oh, man. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna take that. Right, I'm gonna man. take Seamless. Yeah, That's yeah. the outro, I think. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Now we talk about the bars, dog. I take a piece of your, a bar from a song, and you just talk about it. For you sure. Feel me? So on rebate, you say used to know life is a bitch, but she really been straight. What, talk about that shit, dog. Cause I can see what you're going, but what's that shit about? Shit, really? That's like you still. Well, used to. I said talk. Used to know life as a bitch, but she really been straight. Yeah. So you you just you just take that that first piece like for what everybody know it for like you know people know life as a bitch like yeah. life be hard life be for a sure. struggle Hell yeah. but you know I ain't gonna lie me I've been a ladies man my whole life. I've been a ladies man my whole life, so yeah. it's like really she been straight. Like, yeah, once yeah. I once yeah. I was able to understand, yeah, like, life, yeah you be thinking like know, life is I, fucked up, but yeah, like, I know life a bitch, but hold ain't on. that bad? Really she been straight? <laughs> yeah, man. that can go for life, that can go for a chick, that can go for yeah. a situation, yeah. like yeah. you know like, what I'm saying? Really, everything is straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on love, you say honestly was love. That nigga sounded the hardest. Yeah. <laughs> he must got some bad news or something. Yeah, Damn. <laughs> Everything gotta be all right. <laughs> yeah, he calls that authority. Like <laughs> he died, like yeah, all right, y'all. You don't say love, love, love. <laughs> all right, dog. Mm. The song love. You said honestly was love and love. Trauma had me thinking I was done with love. Uh. So. Cause that, that honestly, could be that could be yeah, you know bro. cause that could be you know when you yeah. you think you done you get another situation yeah. you might bring that that past you know what yeah. I'm saying. That was like that was like just say, like love and as a whole like showing love. Um, giving love on an intimate level like as far as with women mm-hmm. and then love as far as like giving that extra support out that you, you know you may could have reserved for yourself for sure. to help build yourself up so it was like really I was done with love yeah. you know trauma had me thinking I was uh. yeah. but shit run it up you yeah, know for sure like basically don't be worried about all that shit you know trauma gonna have you thinking anything yeah, yeah, yeah. but you gotta know yeah it's kind of a piggyback off that one line for sure but I think like be straight. love and getting drunk is like the same thing when you get drunk, you all like, man, I'm done drinking. When when a chick break your heart, man, I fucked. It. I ain't fucking no. no. Yeah, so you get that, yeah. that, that other blood. Yeah. You get that next oh, blood. Yeah, tell next weekend you get that. Oh shit, ain't y'all drinking? Mm-hmm. Oh, you see that next chick, dog? Like, oh fuck, like you know what I'm saying? So yeah, yeah you can compare getting drunk as hell to falling in love, dog. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Crazy and, comparison, and, but you can compare. But, but compare and and then and then remember, I don't like drinking, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't like getting drunk, man. Yeah, for sure. So, <laughs> like hell that's yeah. how you feel with that wet shit. Hell yeah. So on, on ties, you say, baby, you a trophy ball. Learn way more from my losses. That's it. I told you, deep nigga. Yeah, like, <laughs> so like, yeah. So that that talk about that one. Shoot, that's just the, like I said, that's just man. Shoot, let me get concise. <laughs> so basically, growing up, it was like everything was. Not to say just sweet for me, yeah. but I was the oldest. I didn't even know when there was certain problems because I'm the one they telling to go, hey, go do this, go do that, go do this, go oh, do hell, that. Nigga, so you were sure. part of damn near like the point, the, the uh, you were part of the direction system. So yeah. you don't even really realize what type of shit going on. Mm-hmm. So long story short, like I was always winning mm-hmm. and didn't really even have opportunities to yeah. learn necessarily yeah, for sure. until I 
a bump my fucking head. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. really, like the trophy shit don't be mattering to me. All that one shit that women try to present. Yeah. It's like no, I learned a lot more from a loss. What can you teach me? Hell yeah. Not to say what can you take away from me yeah, or what I'm gonna sure. lose with you, but yeah, you gotta yeah. show me something. That's a fact, though. That's a fact. Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. That's why I, you know what I'm saying. I, I want to talk about the bars of truth. I know it'd be some real deep meaning. Yeah, Usually, ask a nigga some shit though. Like, what you say? You know, you know how it was. Like, niggas don't know how to respond. On what you know, what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, they was talking about this. is What you talked about, nigga? Not yeah, me. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna. Lie. I don't be having people like. Well, I ain't gonna lie. That's that's one of the things that that keep me going. Cause people they ask about the bars, but some people ask about them in different ways. Some people yeah. be like, damn, that shit was hard. Yeah. Some people ask some shit like that. Like, yeah. well, what you mean by that? And yeah, I'm like, yeah. damn. I actually did mean something. Yeah, yeah, like no, for sure. <laughs> like, for sure. Bad. For sure, man. Now, what's that? You, on Innocent, you said, uh, I'm a shoe plug. I've been peeping all the sneaks. Nigga, I, like, you, and you, on, 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 you get a lot of motherfucking uh, 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 shots taken on social media, bro. Yeah. Like, I know you, that you might not even been equating the two, but I just thought about that shit. Like, nigga, on social media, niggas use social media to do a lot of sneak shit. Like, Sneaky homies, shit, everything, bro. nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, sneak damn. This, nigga this, niggas sneak gonna this. put the song with the picture and shit. I know what the fuck you talking about, nigga. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> And that's that's what it is. I'm a shoe club. I've been peeping all the sneaks. Mm -hmm. A nigga try to diss, he can't even get the feet mixed. <laughs> you yeah. feel me? Yeah, oh yeah, for sure. So yeah. that's the that was the next line. So it's like basically the sneak, the sneak diss. <sighs> Shoe plugs, man. Yeah. You know, you a shoe plug. You peep yeah. it too. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so just yeah, know yeah. if you peep all that sneak diss and shit, man, you a shoe plug. Yeah, now last yeah. one, dog. Also, and this is actually hard. That's your your latest. Uh, yeah, that's the latest, latest one. Shit, dog. You say I, I I don't want I don't want no perfect body, baby. Is you worth the body? We gonna die lonely. So like, was that you talking about? Like, you know, we talking about this shit on the, on the show. Like, I don't know if you were talking about this, but as far as like girls and shit who be like insecure, getting their bodies done up for for lights and shit on on the gram or mm -hmm. getting attention from niggas. Like, would you kind of like on that type of shit or like something else? No, actually, it was like that. We're trying to present it in a cool, you know. Yeah, kind of, kind of way, like you know, baby, you can work your body, but is you worth the body? Cause yeah. we won't die lonely. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, it's gonna yeah. be plenty, plenty of them around us when you worth it. You yeah. Feel then me? we say when you work it, if a bitch get ass, can you work that ass? Yeah, you never yeah, had it. So yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, right, so yeah, it still gotta do what it's supposed to do. For sure, for sure. Like, <laughs> like, like you never had ass, but now you got that bitch on the what to do with it? Like, yeah, they ain't even doing what you. <laughs> you required like that's a requirement yeah like, like but you ain't even it, it I'm tall worth it. ask me to do tall shit all the time <laughs> gotta ask you gotta do gotta ask shit <laughs> niggas ain't do tall shit duh. Yeah. hell no now you been dropping singles and shit bro like is that the thing for you right now because I've been hearing a lot of niggas say like they on a singles run instead of dropping a project because they wanna see what the response gonna be from the people to know how the body of work gonna be once they give a whole project up now like that's a that's like a, a a credible angle like for you know for most artists that you know that come from that angle mm -hmm. me like i put together two projects before and got a certain type of response from me. Mm -hmm. so as far as like having a sound and you know yeah. knowing what it, what it's like to have 30 40 songs and pick sure. 10 out of you know yeah, I, yeah. I went through the album process and yeah. i know how to go through that right now the singles are for um honestly for for me Mm -hmm. To get a, a personal feel of what I want to do with the responses I've been getting, yeah, for sure, and, for sure. And shoot, the people have been telling me what to do. Keep yeah. dropping them singles because we like to we like to just bang what we like to bang. Yeah, the project yeah. be dope, but yeah, we got now we got to search for what like just give it to us and tell us how we gonna yeah look. for sure for sure. And then tell us what the next one. Yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah. yeah. So you about to, you about to do that shit for for you know saying? probably probably like another uh. Ain't no telling. Probably like another year. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. Ain't no telling because yeah, yeah, yeah. I've I been getting some 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 amazing traction. First of all, shout out to Choo Choo Management, yeah, Choo Choo yeah. Entertainment. About that. Yeah, how you you get, how shout you, out to. That's like how you get with them. Like, what, what, what was that shit? Honestly, I um shoot, man, we've been tied in since uh, uh event at Central Michigan, mm -hmm. probably about a couple years ago. Back when um with Shot Killer and Yellow Montana, I brought them out to an event called Center of Attention. Mm -hmm. um, I used to perform and had a host of event out there with a Rampage Dance Team. Shout out to Rampage Dance Team on the campus. Okay. Um, long story short, did did business with them uh, a yeah. long time ago. Mm -hmm. And then of course, just by uh, recording with Shot Killer and things like that, yeah. developed a relationship with them over time, like three, four years. Mm -hmm. And then um, when it was time to, to take my career to a certain level yeah. or to a certain um <laughs> professionalism you yeah. feel me I, I not to say i just reached out it was just everything was already moving yeah, in a certain yeah, direction sure. to yeah. the point where 
You know, like I said, kind of like growing up, bro, I be yeah. just naive a little bit yeah, and be forgetting yeah. where I'm at. Like, yeah. it was already family. It was already yeah. what it was. Yeah, so, so it, was, yeah, it, just, it was just that yeah. time and making a connection and shit. Yeah, it was, already, it was already what it was. So, yeah. um, moving forward, like, that's why, I, moving forward, I know tell us, singles, projects, the project can always come, but if the single's working, yeah, you why know, not? Yeah, why switch it up? Why switch it up? Because... Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna tell this if you don't mind. Man, like, go ahead, shit, man. man, don't don't <laughs> listen, bro. Don't be. What what are you dropping the project for, bro? Yeah. You feel me? Even if you got project type of quality type of music, mm -hmm. drop you a single and put in the work yeah, that it takes sure. to become the artist you need to become. Yeah. Because it's a certain mentality, a work ethic that come with this shit mm -hmm. that you don't understand just because you put out a project. Yeah, for sure. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like you gotta understand the market and the you know yeah, the, yeah. the the. the is is yeah, it's <laughs> levels, bro. Yeah, no, it's levels, sure. and that, and I understand that now. No matter mm -hmm. how dope my shit was, like yeah, yeah, no matter how witty I was putting a bar together, yeah. like no matter none of that shit, mm -hmm. bro. Don't none of that shit matter until you can actually play that game, walk in those rooms, present yourself, articulate yourself, sure. Hell, know yeah, what yeah. you doing with your brand and all that kind of stuff. Nigga, that's a fact, dog. So. I wish I knew that shit when I was like serious with music, dog. But you but, know, and I, I realized that like, I was I would have been terrible, nigga. I don't like spending money. <laughs> and you, yeah, that's when a, you do independent shit, nigga. That's a must, dog. Like, yeah, you, like for real. Like I don't, oh, I don't want buy no beat. I don't want do nothing, nigga. I just want to record, dog. Man, <laughs> man, what my hardest shit is when I spend my last on the beat, man. <laughs> that bitch, like, dog. Listen, me and my soul. That's all I had. Man, left. you be hoping, <laughs> like, man. damn, I hope this bitch pop off. Cause that beat was two, three hundred, whatever yeah. I mean dollars. You know what I'm saying? And most of it is like. Uh, most of the, like the pop off people gotta understand. Like I'm into, like I it's 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 a lot of things that you could do once you enter the music mm -hmm. or into the entertainment mm -hmm. realm. You know, yeah, yeah, as sure. an artist, I've like you know I'm good with writing. I've wrote a play before yeah. and wrote an after school program and curriculum for a school. Like yeah. you know that's a bag. Like it's yeah, it's so sure. many yeah. different yeah, ways. Yeah, for sure. You know, and we with your passion basically for music. That mm -hmm. passion it could be directed other areas. Oh, like yeah. we talked about the guard. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's just. That yeah. once you get that focus or that whatever that thing yeah. is, it's about you knowing that that light you can yeah. shine that boy yeah. at the little area. And you ain't got to be focused and stuck on one thing. You feel yeah. me? And but you still be doing what you want to do, but in other angles. Yeah, because you, you got it. You got to hold down what gave you that. Yeah, like, yeah. you can never lose your vibe. For sure. Like, I can sure. never walk in the stoop talking about. Oh, I can't rap today. I don't yeah. want. Like I can't do that. Yeah, I gotta yeah. go in that bitch Facts. every time. I can. Yeah. Hell yeah, dog. Not acting, but yeah. Yeah. Now, nigga, was, <laughs> was every time, dog? You was like, man, fuck this music shit. Like it ain't popping off how you want to. I'm, I'm good on it. Like I said, bro, I be making music for me. Like, yeah. So, so you ain't really giving a fuck about how niggas react to it or how niggas feel about it. Like as long as you. Oh, listen, you <laughs> listen, I make music for me, yeah. but I'm a real person, man. Like, yeah, like sure. people yeah. be unrealistic, man. Like, yeah, 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 this yeah. is a business. Like, you know, yeah. it, it, your stuff not necessarily at the store on the shelf no more, but I yeah. still consider myself competing with the people like yeah. Jay-Z and stuff we were saying. Like, yeah. my shit in store is just like everybody else. Yeah, so, sure. of course, I need my audience to respond, and yeah. I value their response. Yep. But as far as the creation of the product, that's me and that's yeah. on me. Yeah. So once I once I feel how I feel about it, yeah. I don't give a fuck how y'all feel about it. Cause <laughs> yeah. most of the people that got a feeling, that mean they tapped in mm -hmm. and they know you. Mm -hmm. Or they tapped in with the bread. Something. To have a feeling, you tapped in somewhere. For sure. So for I'm sure. gonna make sure you can access me anywhere. Shout out Principal Apparel. Yeah. This is my little brother clothes. If y'all wanna uh you know what I'm saying? You yeah. gonna tap in, you gonna <laughs> see me either way it go. Yeah, shout out. Now yeah. you 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 heavy, like you say, you didn't say that with the community service, dog, like like, was that something like growing up you seen and you know you wanted to be a part of like helping out the community where you from or that's just something that just just came with it as you got older um that was something that that was also presented to me and as a as a youth like mm -hmm. okay I, I grew up uh on the certain part of the east side where my family had a lot of influence a lot of resources mm -hmm. so they was able to to bless a lot of people yeah, like yeah, you sure. feel me? not necessarily my my household family but like my cousins the way the way this you yeah, know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. you from this mother you know how i be you know how i be so i saw that and i saw about by, by the means that they was able to get it and i'm like okay but i just want to be able to get it a different way but i still want to be able to show that same love for sure, for i still sure. want to be able to uh, come through hell yeah. help the kids do this you know like it yeah, was lit sure, it was yeah. lit for us like yeah hell yeah, yeah. Dog. no for sure because i remember thinking <laughs> want to do something for my hood when i seen grant hill put some rams up nigga. I'm like, damn, that shit was hype as hell. Grand Hill put the rims up, <laughs> dog. Like, I remember that shit. Even though I hated the fucking double rims, but I'm like, nigga, like Grand Hill, yeah, the Grand yeah. Hill. <laughs> so I always said, nigga, <laughs> like, I'm where I'm from. I'm, I'm, I'm I stayed on Cooper between uh, Warren and Forest. So we used to have this little court called uh, by Crowley, Crowley School, Crowley Court. 
And that shit got took it down, niggas. I'm like, nigga, wherever mm. I pop off, nigga, I'm I'm coming back up there. I'm getting that court, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, that's when I, I first started. Like, I ain't gonna say I, I, I hoop before that, but when I just got like sauce to my game was oh, Ed yeah. Crowley, dog. Okay. Like, nigga, Mount start hooping grown, niggas. Ed Crowley, like that was a spot, nigga. <laughs> I ain't like, gonna lie, shout out to Mount, man. <laughs> dog, hey, hey. Yeah, that nigga yeah. was hooping in there, I didn't class up out here. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, he he fucked up for a lot of little niggas in the hood because everybody seen him hooping on the court and thought they could hoop on the court with the grown niggas. Yeah, like Malk was different. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he was 10, hooping with niggas who were like my age and older. We seven years apart, so he hooping and doing his thing. So on the other side was the weak little niggas that be on the half court round. Oh, yeah, really. So then they started trying to come over and have necks. Like, well, Malk got necks. And the old niggas like, nigga, that's Malk, nigga. You ain't him, nigga. So now they, now they get discouraged for no reason. He could have stayed over there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> dog and that little niggas to always get me in so many like almost fights nigga like luckily I had to scrap with niggas dog okay. cause this nigga used to be talking shit talking and he fiery. only fucking 10 so he looking at me like nigga it's your little brother like I'm like yeah. dog just chill dog <laughs> Dog, man, shit. shout out to the little brothers of the world, nigga. For real, they will get your ass in some shit, dog. <laughs> you know, like you said, you older, older than what? You said eight siblings. Yeah, man. So yeah, you I know. Got, you I want? got, and we are, we spread out. Yeah. I got some baby brothers right now. Pops like get it in. Damn, so, how how young? <laughs> oh yeah, they ain't even that young. No, they thirteen to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thirteen. Yeah. I mean, thirteen. Still and some years, cause like my yeah. oldest son fucking about to be fifteen. My little son five. So. Yeah, so that's a big ass gap, nigga. Like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? And like, I told him, like, nigga, once they call you, nigga, they're gonna be asking for some bread. Yeah. Ain't about to ask, y'all, you too old to kick it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting to them time. You Hell know yeah. What Hell yeah, dog. Yeah. It for ain't sure. nothing. It ain't, man. That's like, I take that as like, basically, I'll be, I'll be waking up automatically knowing yeah. why I got so much pride. Man, why, sure. why, why I gotta kill this ego. Why I got, like, I be already know it because yeah, I got yeah. eight. Well, yeah, damn their mode <laughs> that I gotta For show sure. some type of something yeah, yeah, even yeah. if it ain't like my my, my I shout, shout out to my little brothers they individuals you feel me it ain't like they don't look up to me yeah, but they yeah. are individuals you feel For me sure. For sure. For so sure. I'll be damned if one of them individuals still be there yeah, I get yeah. to having to look up to them so yeah, it's yeah. all about us yeah. making sure we holding our own at all aspects like no matter what you do in the family this yeah. ain't just me as an artist this as a man yeah, speaking sure. as a person. yeah, 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 yeah you gotta yeah. know that yeah yeah you ever you, you ever give yourself an age cap on this shit though? As far as music though, like if mm. I ain't if I ain't this at this level by this Man. age, like oh you just don't give a fuck. Listen, I'm gonna tell y'all this. Hell no, nah, because first of all, these kids got this thing called TikTok. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Listen, if you got a dream, pursue it right now. Yeah, the for kids sure. gonna turn you up. And it's but, the easiest time to go ahead and push forward with some with yeah. so many resources you got for our social yeah. media, dog. You can reach out to anybody. It's automatic. And then just off a of, off another layer of it, like entertainment is not just is not just what you see as far as being a performing artist. Mm. Like once you really appreciate the craft, like I was saying about the people, you could just drop that project or mm. you can Drop them single, shop your single around, go to this studio. Yeah, get, yeah, you know, sure. it's so much more game to get. Yeah. And as you get that more game, that's what keep you in the game longer. Because sure. you see how many other angles you can exist in yeah, while yeah. still being the artist. It's people that pop, like or songs that pop, yeah. and these cats been, you know, in the yeah. mix or in the game, mm -hmm. and they, you know, what I'm saying, yeah. so them guys, 30, 40 years old, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, you yeah. gotta know. Like once I start understanding that. <laughs> It's like you understand youth is youth yeah. is about how you how you perceive yourself. For, for sure, that's a fat hell. This nigga be you, I just sit back and chill, let this nigga talk, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's saying, for, for sure, for sure, dog. Now, dog, I know just, growing up, bro, like you watch making the band, dog. Little, like I ain't gonna lie, a little bit. Yeah, like, yeah, that was, that was around. Like, that was like you, cause like yeah, you probably about nine, nigga, when that shit yeah, came out. Cause, cause I, I was like sixteen, nigga. Yeah. So, I like mean, you feel me? it was something like that. So even if I watched it, yeah, I wasn't yeah, absorbing yeah. it. I'm doing this and that. And that yeah. and I ain't sitting down. No, no, I had to, I had to say this. On um, making a band, dog, it was, it was, it was a uh, five people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Matter of fact, one of them was from Detroit, Sarah and shit. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if you had one album, bro, a band, you and four other people, it could be rapper, singer, producer, who would it be, dog? Who would be your other four people besides you? Uh, let's get it. We could go anywhere. You anywhere. Like I said, singing, rapping, producing. Dead or alive. Uh, I'm gonna go alive. Okay, I was, <laughs> I was about to get. <laughs> Let me get Jay Dilla. <laughs> Michael Jackson. But, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Um, first, first, just so we can make sure we being appropriate as we can be. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna need to get um. This year, I oh, okay, this okay, okay. Cause this first one, it gotta be what it gotta be. Yeah, for sure. It gotta be what it gotta be. 
That's going to carve everything out. <laughs> All right, bet. Come on. We got to go holla at Drake. All right. Because we making a band. Right? Yeah, 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 for sure. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So he got, shit, you got, you and took care of singing and shit right there, yeah, rapping. Saying, all that yeah, shit. Drake is my vocalist. Yeah. You feel me? Now you got. All right, like, now you got three more. You got three more. I need Shot Killer. All right. Because he, everything. Yeah. Engineer, cover art. Er, <laughs> one stop shop, everything. Yeah, for sure. Artists. Everything right there. And then we going to come. We going to come. Damn. I see certain stuff. See, my thing, I'm too deep, man. So I'll be about to say somebody. Then I'll be like, man, I'll work. Yeah. Man, bump all that. We about to come. Uh, we going to come. We going to come Jay-Z. All right. You feel me? I got that last but not least. Jay-Z is going to be the, yeah. That last but not least piece. Yeah. That piece that's not the least. <laughs> we going to go with. Uh, we need we need that we need that touch of that woman's soul on that thing. For sure, got to, got to. That's that's the whole jambalaya right there. I mean, we breaking the right internet there. with this one. We got Rihanna. All right, man. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, yeah, we going yeah. viral instantly. She ain't yeah. dropping. She Lord knows. At all. <laughs> at at all. Lord knows. Hell yeah, got you a good little shit though. Good little mix and whatever <laughs> though. Hell yeah, got Drake. That nigga, he can go on some hooks. Mm -hmm. and sing Drake gonna go get everybody shit that I don't got. Yeah, you know, for Drake sure. go go find people. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Last music shit, dog. Question as far as like. What mm. success? What's success for you, dog? Success for 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 other people is different shit. It could be money. It could be no rivalry. Mm. It could be whatever. However, what's success for you, dog? Mm. So honest to me, success is a word that's kind of still like it's a progressive thing. It's not something mm. that's stagnant. Yeah, for sure. So it's something that you can obtain. You know, yeah. even when you got it. You yeah, for me? sure. Hell yeah. So, uh, what it looked like though to me, mm -hmm. especially with what I'm going with, just to be more absolute, mm -hmm. it looked like me a whole lot of fucking land, yeah. that farm that I could actually feed myself and the people on the land. For sure, um, some kind of beautiful estate. Mm -hmm. um, that's all funded by ideas out of my mind mm -hmm. and through crafts that I could personally do. Yeah, for sure. And then crafts that I don't got shit to do with taking care of seventy percent of my life. Basically yeah. investment. Some yeah. kind of some kind of investment mm. that I made or risk that I took mm. that's gonna fund yeah. a lot of other things. I yeah. feel like that's what success look like. For sure. For that's sure. something that you can keep learning from. The yeah, investments yeah. you keep you gonna keep yeah, learning from yeah, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, good, good, so. good motherfucking answer, man. Good answer. Yeah, <laughs> like motherfucking yeah. family feud, like good answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Hell no, yeah. dog. Now we uh Man, fat dog, you know what I'm saying? I ain't asked this question in a while, dog. Mm -hmm. I ain't asked nobody to do this shit in a while. Uh -uh. I'll be lightweight nervous and shit, dog. Cause I'll be thinking niggas gonna just, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm not with it. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You rap, dog. Uh. Do you, do you want to give a nigga a 16? Uh, a 16? <laughs> I got you. It's too early. Like, you want to uh -huh. be, be on beat, acapella? Um, if you play a beat, I'll freestyle a 16 for you. All right, if man. you got a beat, we could yeah. just, yeah, I'll give you a 16. Damn, yeah. yeah. Mm. For, for y'all don't know this that uh we gonna make it, you know what I'm saying? J kiss and shit, it's man. It's the Dan Dotting. Yeah. Ten. I got my people with me, you know. Ten. Ten. Aye, right. ten. We gonna make it like we made it. <laughs> made it out the basement. <laughs> Brothers with me, they probably be faded. <laughs> Cut a little different, we probably be ten. Cut a little different, you can never snake us. We be never faking. I be probably baking when I'm waking. I be still feeling like I'm ten. I from the block is vacant. From the block is vacant. Got my heart still on my sleeve. Heart still on my, I heart still on my sleeve. I watch the hate it been adjacent. I, I, I about to catch the flow and you know get the, I, I got you. I, we gon' make it, make it or we take it. Make it like we saving it. Make it like we. <laughs> Niggas still slaving. <laughs> I'ma do it at my pacing. Do it at my favor. Do it with these flavors. Shout out to the people that shop. Shout out to the people that cop. Shout out to the people that's not. <laughs> Shout out to the beat if it drop. <laughs> Turn me up a little bit. <laughs> you can keep whatever one you want. Alright. Now you all good. Yeah, oh, all right, baby. Bit. <laughs> I feel like hmm, that wasn't really up to par. Hmm. I shit that wasn't really up to par. He <laughs> said he don't use axes. They ain't really up for bars. Hmm. I shit they ain't really up for stars. Shit I been up for the light. Hmm. Been up to the right. Hmm. Tried to leave me behind. I been up for the fight. Hmm. 
Aye. But really, I ain't about to scrap. They was talking about the wrestling, but we ain't about the Royal Rumble. Still got that Rumble pack. If they gotta save something, huh? trying to save something, huh? they can't slave nothing. Huh? They won't take nothing. Huh? Aye. Aye. She catch my vibe, I make her say something. Aye. She got her face coming. <laughs> Aye. She got her. <laughs> she got her face coming. She pay attention. She take something. Aye. Aye. <laughs> I I can paint them with a phone call, a vegan with a twist. I always hold my own bars. I'm deep up in the mix. I never got a call off. I if they call off, I still peep the list. I I been been my own boss. I got these people working. I and I'm saying I ain't no people hurting. I can get out there and work with them, get it worthy. I hear me uh, talking noise. I every time I talk, they know it's worth it. Never is he hurting. Every time they talk, they throwing shade. I'm never in no curtains, boy. I've been a light, been a. Hey, uh, I've been a time. Uh, 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 I, ten, I, this is off the top. Yeah, they know I've been that type, <laughs> and I've been that. Uh, shoes loose, I ain't been that tight. Really, I'm too fresh. Shut up, bro. It's that principal apparel. Uh, I ain't wearing sex. Uh, I ain't in the. Uh, uh, I ain't in the marriage, baby. I ain't in the caring, uh, cause I really love you. Uh, I ain't in the caring, she be trying to call the cops They be trying to call for props, this is really me I can never call no ops, really got my people with me Really got my brothers with me, play the hard shit I'll make they body rock, I'll get that party hot I'll turn up the whole block, still come through it I know I still elevate them, come and learn something Give you a lot of love, but you gotta earn something Give you a lot of love, you gotta earn something When I die, burn me up, go and earn something <laughs> hell yeah, hell yeah. Aye. Hey man, for you niggas, dog. For you whole ass niggas who come on the show, man. Be all scared to motherfucking rap some shit, man. And Aye. nigga freestyle, he pulled the phone out. None of that good shit, dog. <laughs> you, feel me? you know what I'm saying? Appreciate y'all, bro. Oh yeah, for sure, dog. I'll be appreciating the opportunity to get in that bag, bro. I feel like that shit a blessing. No, for sure. And then, like, nigga, like, I always wanted this show to be like some motherfucking, you know. When I was growing up, nigga, I used to love motherfucking the basement. Yeah. I just love like those classic shows, like you know what I'm saying, for niggas to showcase they they, they talents and shit like that, dog. And at the end of the day, nigga, if a nigga need to pull a phone out, shit, I would. Yeah, execute <laughs> my know? shit. Look, literally, I tried to. I don't know, man. I tried to tap my shit. My shit then died on me. Like, okay, all right. I know Hell what dog. you said. But niggas okay. got niggas got to know it. Got a motherfucking uh 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 uh, uh, uh um love a uh, uh, freestyle when niggas just you know come off the top. Yeah. We just want wrestling, nigga. Put the wrestling you know that bitch, nigga, yeah. with the rumble pack and shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like niggas got. I really understand nigga what freestyle is. The freestyle ain't nothing like but just niggas thoughts real quick and just put yeah, it down and drop it to a beat. You know what I'm saying? But niggas don't be understanding that shit, dog. So yeah, man, you niggas gotta get it right, dog. Cause I be wanna ask the question, but niggas be shooting me down. You gotta tell man, producers they, to cut that they, shit out. And then for the most part, I remember one time nigga forgot to cut it out <laughs> and then bitch aired and shit. Oh, you put him out there like and, that. And, and, <laughs> and I said and I said it on the interview, like, yeah, nigga, if you want me to cut this shit out, cause we cut it out. Damn. I hit that nigga up like dog, you forgot to cut it out. <laughs> I forgot where it was. No, I know where it was. Hey. And, I'm, and I was tripping because he had like a rapper and rapper, nigga. Rapper, like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking like, man, all right, man. man, I'm going to ask this nigga because I know. You know what I'm saying? Niggas who I know who, who a rapper, rapper, like, I asked the question. I ain't going to him, I'm like, man, yeah. I'm done asking that question. Like, yeah, I'm good. Man. I appreciate the And then the, the, you just came hip hop. Like, I feel like certain stuff, like, I don't rap on beats like that necessarily. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. I feel like that can't, yeah, man. I feel like keep that standard up there. Yeah, don't let these sure. niggas get away with yeah. that. Man. I'm going to start asking. Don't let me find out. Don't let me find out who they was. Because, yeah. like I said, where I'm from, we iron sharp iron. For sure. You can't come to Chew Chewy Studios yeah, yeah, and yeah. that bitch not rapping yeah, if you yeah. a rapper. That's why you know? tell like my nigga, dog. Shout out my nigga Rez, bro. I used to tell a nigga when we was doing the music heavy, bro. Always be prepared, dog. Always yeah. have, always, always be prepared, nigga. Like doing security, nigga. I'm writing all day, every day, nigga. Like yeah. I'm prepared. So if a nigga talking about rapping, shit, I might not be able to freestyle some shit, but nigga, I definitely got a motherfucking writ, nigga. So and even if it ain't, bro, look, thing is, you could do this shit. This shit ain't nothing but talking. Yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> and dog. then you. Not nothing but talk. Let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. No, look, you can do it when you can prove it like that. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta be yeah, able to yeah. Yeah. Now, dog, we always end the show off top three. I give you a category. Give me your top three. But it's on. Top three it's on. celebrity childhood crushes. Oh, all right. Megan Fox. Yeah. That was back before I, you know what I'm <laughs> before I got all, you know what I'm saying, yeah, 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 sure. But uh, Megan Fox. Uh. <laughs> All right, Angelina Jolie, all right. <laughs> Tomb Raider specifically. My man, the lobby is looking at you crazy. Oh, yeah. Listen, 
They said child. They said childhood, bro. Childhood. childhood. They said childhood, childhood bro. Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> y'all, y'all. <laughs> Listen, man. <laughs> Listen, man. Listen, man. Y'all got to go back to my mind when she came. Yeah. What the fuck? She was on that old school. That's all it was. She was on that old school. Yeah, they yeah. transformed it. Uh, but Megan Fox, uh, Angelina Jolie, yeah. and then. Uh, one third, one third with all that. Uh, uh, <laughs> Angela Bassett. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, what's uh, Baby Girl from uh, uh, Friday? Oh, Neil Long? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Neil Long. Oh, yeah, she always give me that. Yeah, Neil Long. No, Neil Long. Neil Long, Neil Long and Megan Fox got a switch. I forgot. Yeah. But Megan Fox had that kind of yeah, effect yeah, on sure. me. Like, yeah, when yeah, I yeah. see it, I'm like, the fuck is she? Yeah. And I ain't know she was, uh, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Nigga, I don't know if y'all, you know, if, I was saying she if, was y'all, uh, if y'all was watching Boy Me Real and y'all some little ones, dog, but Topanga was a motherfucking nice little motherfucking mm. little bitch and shit, dog. Okay, like, okay, okay, but I thought okay. I heard she was kind of racist, I'm going to do my research. And then it be stuff like that. That's what I'm saying. Hell yeah, dog. All right, give me your, uh, give me your top three, uh, give me your top three fools. <laughs> Kale. <laughs> <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Nigga, I made some kale chips. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was gonna be interesting though. <laughs> <laughs> no, but some kale, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, man. Wrong with it, the, uh, uh, jackfruit, bro. You gotta try jerk jackfruit, bro. All right, yeah, I gotta get some, hip. Some jerk jackfruit. Yeah. And, um, Macaroni and cheese. Hell yeah. Nah, nigga, I asked everybody this shit, dog. It's gonna tell me it's gonna tell me a lot about you, dog. You like your mac and cheese, dog, with the brick with the fuck all the cheese just and piled up and you got a layer of that bitch. Or you like that motherfucking shit that is creamy when it comes out of the spoon. A little, a little cream. Yeah, but a little brick. I ain't gonna lie, I need the I need the mixture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause cause you can't you can't serve me no egg, no <laughs> egg yolk. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right, yeah that's how it's gonna be, dog. I'm like, I can't get the egg, yeah. yo. Come on, but my girl. I don't, like that want super... the, I don't want the brick, though. Yeah, so you want that in between, like, in between. little brickish, little, you know what I'm saying? My, listen, <laughs> my grandma famous for it. Yeah. She's so famous for it that she make a pan, my auntie make a pan, yeah. and her sister make a pan. Yeah. So my great auntie. And my grandma pan yeah. can't even get ate by certain people in the family. Duh. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, her pan is like, Duh, that's that shit. Grandma, yeah, where yeah. your pan at? Yeah, like. yeah, yeah, for sure. Hell <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right, no, that's how I, that's how I am with my mother in law, dog. Like, I, my 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 grandmother in law, she make good food, good food, nigga. But when it comes to mac and cheese, I gotta go to my mother in law shit because her shit is crack, mm. dog. Like I'm yeah. talking about, nigga. Now my mama crack. stand alone though. My mom, that's my daddy's side of the family. Yeah. My mama stand alone. She just. She like a different breed with all that shit. Like she yeah. had to cook bars. So, oh, listen, she just a goat with the cooking shit. Duh, for sure. She makes sure. some stuff shells. How hard was it, dog? The, 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 the you know, what I'm saying switch over it all from being you know, what I'm saying meat eater and shit, then go to no, uh, pause and shit, meat eater. Right, and shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was about to say because I ain't, <laughs> he's like dog, nah. but you know, what I'm saying try, try see, that was it. no problem. I never was on that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, like I, I was like being a vegan yeah. dog, just giving up on you know, what I'm saying the, the good chicken wings and. So ribs. So it it honestly was like easy because it was easy for one reason because I damn near like I was doing it for like a little super deep reason at the time you know right. a lot of my family members and stuff like that wanted to be able to show yeah. a certain blueprint with it and then yeah. actually be able to practice that shit sure, and like sure. really be doing it really you know making food that makes sense and yeah. cooking and stuff like that yeah, yeah. so. Once I got into like the actual, okay, this is my passion. This I'm on this shit now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then my mama came back into the picture. <laughs> it was like, how can I please her? How yeah, can I make her sure. eat? Like, how can I? Yeah, yeah. Then when she started like just dabbling in certain shit, yeah. I was just knowing like, okay, bet yeah. I'm doing her decent. Yeah, for sure, for sure. All right, man, give me your, right, give me your top three, uh, cause everybody, the rapper shit, like for the most part, everybody shit gonna be the same. You know, give me your top three underrated rappers. Uh, of all time, or like just right now. Mm. You feel me? Right now. Bet. I'll I, I give my top three, dog. Larry June. Mm. Is he underrated, though? I, he might not be just... He might not been around long enough. I feel like the... I, Currency. Right. Cause that, okay. Okay. Now I, get, I understand what you kind of saying. Yeah, now, currency to me. Under marketed. Yeah, currency. But it's not underrated, yeah, though. Cause, but currency to me is underrated because he's been around that forever, shit. dog. That's true, too. He's been around since Young Money first started. You know what I'm saying? Before Drake and shit. Like... But I just feel like I feel like when you if you ever was to have a conversation with somebody that, that's respectable yeah, enough, yeah, yeah. those names you just said, yeah, yeah, yeah. even though they underrated, yeah. they respect is not for sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. 
Okay, okay. Nah, I, 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 yeah, I see. Larry June for sure. Like, that's my yeah. Larry June currency. And uh, shit, my third one, dog. He not underrated. Don't get me wrong. He not underrated at all. But I just don't think he get talked about as far as like dope rappers enough for me. But mm -hmm. most Ti, I don't think he get talked okay. about enough. For me, like that's when niggas talk about like that really verse, resume yeah, type shit, okay. like niggas will talk about Jeezy before they talk and Gucci before they talk about Ti, like for, you know what I'm saying? Ti is really, that nigga. Yeah, okay, I get to me. You know what I'm saying? I get where you at with it because yeah. you like the look, the bars, the actual yeah. lyricism of it. Yeah, yeah. yeah as far as and then he put out a lot of content. It's not, it's oh, yeah, not T. like I, he yeah. didn't. Because niggas when they talk about Ti, content was going against uh, Jeezy at first in the battle before he switched to Gucci. Niggas was just trying to say like T.I. wasn't going to be no competition. I'm like, hold on, nigga. Y'all niggas, niggas, niggas forgot. Like, <laughs> yeah. T.I. got a fucking long ass. But it's that, it's that expeditiously and all that type of <laughs> shit. Bro, they, bro, bro, so far out of our mind, we don't know tip. Yeah. And that nigga son, though. That nigga son cold, dog. I don't know. He probably is, though. That nigga, no, that nigga straight, though. That nigga straight, though. The money. That nigga could rap like okay, okay. that nigga deep and shit. Like, okay. That nigga shit be for real. He be really talking about some shit. Like, he don't sound shit like his pops. Like, I'm I'm saying this shit, dog, and it's really like putting a lot of pressure on this shit. We all listen to it, dog. But he give you he give you some three thousand like vibes. Oh Wait. shit, you feel <laughs> me? You feel me? You not capping? You not capping? Is that it? And, and listen, yeah. he qualified. Yeah. He's probably the youngest in the room. Like, like I'm not he saying I'm not say saying his bars is yeah. up the par, but the way his his presentation is. Hey, hey, bro, he can rap, bro. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Like, okay. <laughs> Like so, okay. yeah. That dude, the, it's his presentation. Of course, ni niggas ain't gonna have no three thousand bars. Like that nigga gonna kill most niggas when it come to barring the nigga up. But I'm talking about his like, presentation, he how he actually... delivering, like his 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 flow. I I see a little bit. Mm. So yeah, y'all niggas okay. get hit, dog. Nigga, okay, cold, dog. Like, okay, <laughs> okay. Shit, <laughs> my first one then. Hmm, that's crazy. Yeah, cause niggas be quick. That's you can say Pop J. You know what I'm saying? Niggas be quick when they come to their favorite rappers. Yeah, Wayne. Your favorite underrated though? Like, yo, top. This like the niggas, don't, you, don't, you feel don't get enough love and appreciation. Enough, enough recognition type. Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, so I'm going to go number one with Nip. Oh, yeah. I believe yeah. that vibe that they gave him when he passed away was dope. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. it just, it goes to show what type of, you know, reverence is really, really what's supposed yeah. to be. You feel me? Because I was fucking with Nip, though. I remember he was selling $100 CDs. Yeah, literally. Yeah, like, like that nigga was the so. yeah. Nip for show, um, Nip for show. We gotta go, uh, <laughs> uh, cause I ain't gonna lie, I be biased. I don't even be listening to a lot of people like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like my people that I do listen to, hold on, uh, Herbo. Okay, yeah, cause y'all yeah, got yeah. Herbo. No, they be like, having Herbo yeah, fucked yeah, up. Y'all say I, Herbo ain't on beat. Y'all be hurting my feelings cause yeah. I got flow. That yeah. mean y'all don't appreciate. Yeah, flow. I fuck with her. Y'all be tripping. Yeah, fuck with so, G Herbo, dog. So we got Nip, G Herbo, G Herbo, Nip, G Herbo, and then like on that tier, yeah, on that type of tier, um, ah, it's this cat, <laughs> damn. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's open your mind up. I gotta open my mind up. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I say, I say, uh, I say, I can't, I don't want, man, I ain't gonna just say that. Westside Boogie. Okay. Boogie. Yeah, uh, yeah Boogie, uh, what's name? Yeah, Shady at the man with Eminem, right? Yeah, yeah, I ain't know, I ain't know all that. I ain't mm -hmm. know all that. But like, Boogie dope as hell. Like, you feel me? And been dope since I was like, man. And, I, and there's so many people that don't even know about dog. Dog. Yeah. yeah, I, I fuck with Boogie, yeah. Because yeah. niggas, when he say Boogie, he like they, they next about, little Kendrick type. Yeah, like, you yeah. Because yeah. yeah. when niggas say Boogie, niggas think about A Boogie with the hoodie or something like that. Yeah. I know about who you talking about, dog. Yeah, dog. Boogie nice, Boogie nice, hell yeah. Like, you like Hooper, dog. Yeah. Your top three Hoopers, dog. Right now. Right now. And I want your top three all the time after that. All right. So right now, my top three. Yeah. I like Jason Tatum, bro. That nigga grow oh, yeah. every year, bro. <laughs> yeah, nigga every year he get better, bro. Yeah, for sure. Fact, I don't even watch the game like that as yeah. far as bro game, but he no, get better. And I love that shit. That nigga, that nigga got a package. He all cold. Yeah. And then uh, we're going to have to go Kyrie. Okay. You feel me? Just because. Best handles in the game, In bro. the game, bro. Yeah. But the most, the most, the most, uh, he could he could do the most doable shit. Like he <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, nigga, that word is. Best finisher in the game. Yeah, yeah. He could do all the shit. Yeah, he do everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that you can't do. He doing most do, doing more shit than everybody in the game. Hell yeah. And then um, last but not least, um, 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Brian James, and I ain't even no Brian fan, but yeah. you just can't. You, you can't, can't. Yeah, you can't. You, you can't, can't take away yeah, from that. What he did, dog. You on know what and off the court, for sure. All right, your top three all time. All time, we gotta go instantaneously. Uh, Y'all hey, y'all. All right, hell yeah, classic. Nigga changed the whole game up. Tattoo, just the whole, brave, just, the whole just the whole AI. Right. And then we gotta go. Uh, damn, I went AI. Okay. My favorite? Yeah, yeah. My, well, just my favorite? Yeah, it's oh, you. It's you. It's like, yeah, hell yeah. Penny. Hell yeah, so, nigga. Penny Harvey, sis, eight, nigga, God. point guard. Yeah, fuck is they talking about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and slam on you. Hell yeah. But, um, Penny and um, I ain't heard that word a long time. Nigga, slam on a nigga. Like. Yeah, slam on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, slam on. Oh yeah, Penny, Ivo, who that third? Uh, hey, that third. Yo, shit. Yeah. Jamal Crawford. That's Duh. where I got my that's game from. Ass top three, that's where bro. I get. That's where I got my game from, bro. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, a, see, it's a weird top three, but yeah. it's I know. No, Kyrie and um and um and and Jay Crawford, dog. Dumb handles. Yeah. Dumb handles, dog. All right, dog. We are gonna end it off on a jump moment, high moment, dog. Give me a story when you was one or both, dog. Some some funny shit. Damn. <laughs> oh, all right, bit. My uh, my like my my first year in college. Yeah. Where you down. go to school at? Where you Central at? Michigan University. Hey, shout out to CMU, man. Yeah. It's homecoming weekend right now. Yeah, for sure. About to hit the sure. road tomorrow or tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, shoot. I was it was it was homecoming weekend, man. My first homecoming. I didn't I wasn't a homecoming guy in high school, you know. Yeah. I had a vibe and shit. I wasn't no lame necessarily. Yeah, for sure. I just wasn't going out. Yeah. Like, I, uh got to college and it's like, all right, bet. Yeah. I got, I'm a, I'm I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm one of I'm one of them ones in college. Yeah. It's a for little sure. different. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm coming out, it's, it's yeah, it's a little different. It for was sure. the love. Yeah. I didn't got drunk. <laughs> It was time to go. Duh, what y'all drinking? Uh, Bombay, brother. Yeah, damn. A pint of Bombay to myself. Oh shit, nigga, these niggas just went out there. I'm a young boy. Yeah. I, not even spoke. I don't even know what I was on. Man, I'm gonna be real with you. I was feeling like Wiz. They used to call me Wiz. I yeah. had like a little mini fro. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, the 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 funny part is, uh, apparently. They was trying to get my attention, yeah. but I thought the people across the street was trying to fight me. <laughs> and I'm standing, it's one main road in the middle of my Pleasant, bro. Yeah. And like, they big as the street. <laughs> and I'm standing in the middle of the street and took my shirt off, yeah. and I'm arguing. And I'm just, <laughs> For no reason. No, I, I finally make it through the, 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 the chaotic traffic. Duh. And there's some cats that I done hooped in the wreck with or something. You yeah, know how yeah, college yeah. is, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they they, 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 like, they didn't knew me or something. But yeah, I ain't gonna lie. But, but I ain't know them. But yeah, so you like go, I said, you go over there about the scrap. Man, I go over there about the scrap. I'm talking my heavy shit walking across the street. Now, y'all, what the fuck, fuck are you talking about? And I, and they talking shit back because they know me. I'm not knowing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. I'm just, you feel me? Duh. I'm, I'm, all, I'm from the east side, this and that. Yeah. Yeah. And it wasn't, it wasn't nothing. <laughs> Dog, y'all need to scrap this, y'all. Well, we ain't do nothing. Yeah. I got over there. My girl come walking out the little McDonald's and drink, man. My girl Duh. at the time. She, Nigga. boy, what is wrong with you? We all sure that. <laughs> they probably love that bitch in the street. Everything, like everything just stopped for me. I'm like, damn. <laughs> Duh, yeah, nigga, don't get drunk, duh. Yeah, but that's when I like that moment right yeah, there. But sure. I never fucked with that shit. Ever again, I know, I bro. never. Had, I, I been, was so out my mind. I had drunk before. I never had the uh, the Bombay though. I never had that shit. See, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, I ain't. Gonna you do get it. invincible. Yeah, some of that cheap shit, dog. Like that Seagram Gin, nigga. That shit, it just turned you to a motherfucking monster, dog. <laughs> Strong you know as hell, you get strong as hell. Man, for sure, fast dog, <laughs> fast man. I appreciate you coming out of this motherfucker, dog. For sure, fam. even though you had motherfucking, you know, man. Appreciate, man, this appreciate shit, y'all for for dealing with me, man. For sure, no, for you sure. Know, I was, for sure. I was, At least you hit me up and let me know. Like, but that's like, some like the niggas, last minute. Yeah. I'm like, damn. Hey, man, shit bullshit. happened, dog. Shit happened, yeah. nigga. Where, where can yeah. where can you follow you on your socials and all that good stuff, dog? So you follow me at I A M D A N D A D A. I am Dan Dada, and then you can follow me on all streaming services at D A N D A D A at Dan Dada on all, right. all streaming services. You gonna find me? Turn me up. You feel yeah, me? I, sure. I, I got milestones to reach y'all. Y'all could be a part of my milestones. For sure. For it's sure. Gonna be gone by next year. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure, man. Yeah. You wanna leave people off with some words, man? Some good words and some shit, dog. Some motivation, shit. Um, I ain't gonna lie. The best word of encouragement 
I'm going to speak from where I'm at in life right now. Yeah. Make sure you take care of yourself. And people sure. people tell you that all the time, and you know you might take it light. Yeah. But take care of yourself is like a full-time operation. For it's sure. like you got to support yourself, motivate yourself, feed yourself, clothe yourself, think for yourself. You know, so, And then another part about caring for yourself is about making sure you got people around you that care for yourself. Yeah. Like my dog is in came to this business. Sit there down there, chill, vibed out. They could have yeah, been doing whatever. Hell yeah, you hell always yeah. keep people yeah. around you that sure. that will do for you what you will do for them. Hell yeah. And it's no, that facts. simple. You feel facts. you don't want nobody around you that'll do more for you hell than you would do for them because you'll fuck up. Hell yeah. Because you can't get them what they're giving you. Yeah. You always keep 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 mutual situations around you. For sure. Fast, fast, man. Yeah, good shit, good shit. I'm gonna get yeah. people off with the uh, motherfucking Nas is the better rapper than Hov. Okay, damn. Uh, Hulk Hogan ain't that sweet as a wrestler. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> and I never seen He Man as a cartoon. We was arguing about that shit. Dog. Damn. <laughs> what? So shit, man. What about Thundercats? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that's right, what we have right there. Right, you right, know right. what I'm saying? Hey, man. Shout out to everybody. Episode motherfucking 90, man. Yeah. Dan Dollar, man. Appreciate you.